these streets are unforgiving. If you guys don't gotta get back on the fucking porch now. They call me Circus. But I ain't here for entertainment. Now when you cross this fucking bridge, it's a whole different world. A world where fucking renegade thugs prey on the weak, take advantage of the helpless, and hurt their own. They make no mistake. Anyone that sees this cut and hears the sound of that Harley know the skulls run this fucking town. They call me hip hop. And I shot call everything from 10th to 29th. I and I alone say what shape and what don't. Whatever happened on the west side, shit don't matter to me. They can ride them bikes up and down Detroit all they want, long as I don't see them shits on the 12. But the minute they forget that, the second they get out of pocket, we let them know what the 12 about. Anybody who don't understand peace, gonna have to understand violence. Out there grinding. It's cold, man. It's only a year and I'm back out on the street. Should have the homies up there anyway, so it ain't gonna be no problem. Yeah, I know that. But we finally got the block on lock. Got this money coming in right. You gotta go lay it down. I feel you, man. But that's why I got you and Greasy to hold me down till I get back. And when I do, I tell you, we gonna run this time. Not just the east side either. The whole thing. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm ready to get up out these slums, take this shit downtown, get some of that white boy corporate money. <laughs> yeah, our time is definitely coming, man. But meanwhile, it's business as usual. I'm serious, Faison. I need you to move it the same way we've been doing for the last three years. No new customers, no new connections. All right, man, with them country boys saying they can get twice as much as we get now, and cheaper. Stall that shit, man. We ain't in a position to be switching teams right now. What's the deal we got with the scores is keeping us good. Take this money to the scores, bring the work straight to Greasy. Yeah. Straight to Greasy, Faison. All right. Real talk, I hate working with them backstabbing motherfuckers. Shit, me too. For right now, they're keeping it coming. We can't afford to slow up. But like I said, things gonna be different when I get out. I promise you that. All right. All right, well, I'm gonna get this over to the pinkies. Be back at Greasy by four. Yeah. All right, bet. Take care, bro. Love you, dog. Love you, too. See you in a year.
headed to the spot now. Y'all got that work? Cool. My brothers, my brothers. Good day for a drug deal, wouldn't you say? Look, Razor. So my name is Faison. Yeah, whatever. Look, we ain't here for the bullshit. Let's just take care of business so we can get the fuck out of here. Now, show me the fucking money. Well, that ain't easy, Hillbilly Jack. We got it for you, just like we promised. One pound and 96% pure. It's class A chip. Rest glass in Tennessee. Well, give me the fucking product so I can get out of this damn truck. Fuck, are y'all pig farmers or something? It's all there. I told you, it's all there. You think I'm gonna trust you inbred motherfuckers? That's what I thought. Look, Ranger. My name is Faison. I told you that already. Yeah, right. Let's just finish this deal. Both of us be on our merry fucking way. I'm not gonna tell you what's gonna happen to either of us if he finds out that A, we was hustling on his turf, and B, somebody from 12 blocks been buying from us. Look, y'all can worry about whoever the fuck y'all need to worry about. <laughs> Let me worry about little old me. 12 block don't bar nobody, not even him. Fucking bangers. Wait, 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 let me explain. Make this right. No, no, look, I was just about to come see you. I, I got this package for you, man. Is that right? Yeah. L look, that's all you. You keep all of it. Yeah? Yeah, that's all you, homeboy. Thank you. Homeboy. Wait, wait! <laughs> Gotta be that good shit. Good enough. Now get the hell out of here, boy. Yeah. All right. Here, break this down and get into the idiot. What's his face? Who, Scotty? Scotty, that's it. Get it to those two dipshits and I eat the piece. I got you. Yeah. Who was that? Me. Myself, along with the state and local officials, are doing everything we possibly can to once and for all bring down the mobs in this city and the street gangs that aid in their illegal activity. But do you think there will be a significant impact made against the Leone crime family who's operated for nearly 30 years? Under your watch, might I add. 
myself and everybody I employ at City Hall are doing the best we can to make this a safer city. And any notion that I'm in bed with this uh, uh, Leone family is disrespectful and incorrect. Mayor, the bodies are piling up from the escalating gang wars. What can you tell the citizens of Cleveland to calm their fears? I am doing the absolute best that I can. Now, excuse me, your mayor has to go to work. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Those Thank, are all you. The today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Chief Cranes. Chief. Chief, this is your mayor. Listen, I want a show of force in every gang neighborhood in this city, and I want it now. You understand? I want it now. I mean, I got enough shit on my plate already. I don't give a damn what you got on your plate. You pile some more on your plate, and then you get it done. You understand? Dog, them niggas ain't getting no money. Bullshit. Them niggas getting money for years. Dog, them niggas ain't getting no money, man. Yeah, how you know that, dog? <coughs> Fuck y'all got on phase on. Not much, dog. No witnesses. No prints. Whoever did it. It's ghost, bro. And we know who did it. He was supposed to meet up with searchers to pick up that work. Had to be the scars, bro. Man, ain't no doubt it was dead. We did just like you said. Stayed off the ass till you got out of jail. Well, now I'm here. My first day out, and I already got to put in work. Chief, ain't Rico gonna handle this, man. Nah, man. Faison wasn't just 12, man. He was blood. I'm gonna deal with this for myself. Yo, what hot, man? How you know it was the scars, though? Ain't the only crew we beefing with out there. Man, no other gang in the city got the nuts to turn up like that. But you had to know that shit was gonna happen sooner or later, though, right, though? Man, I don't care about none of that shit, man. My nigga dead, and somebody gonna answer for that. So you blame it on the scores without concrete proof, huh? Wow. Nigga, is you a score? Because if you are, I'm gonna bleed your ass out right here and now. Mail your heart back to your mom and little brother back in Oakland, nigga. But look, man, Hop, I'm just saying. Nigga, don't just say shit. Keep your thoughts to yourself. Please. This shit done popped off, man. And nobody, I don't care how motherfucking deep they crew is or who they connected with, ain't nobody getting away with killing the twins. Well, it's up to you, my nigga. I can round up the crew right now and start trimming them, nigga. <laughs> Man, you ain't gonna start trimming no damn body. How the fuck you gonna go wear some damn dress shoes, huh? Tell me that, you pretty ass nigga. Keep on joking. I'm gonna start with you. Ooh, I'm scared. I'm shay. Boy, come on and sit out there and escalate like your damn bitch. Both of y'all calm down. Send a motherfucking game? Man, them boys deep. And that full circus? You stay guarded at all times. I mean, yeah, we may get a few of them here and there, but it's gonna be tough for us to win all our street war, man. They got numbers on these side. I know that, man. But we can still make it work. How? Ah. By catching them all in one place at one time. Talk about Circus, Tommy Boy, Cassie, all of them. Even the supply, Mr. Calvetti. No, no. That ain't gonna be an easy thing, man. I mean, it's one matter of one with another gang, man. What you talking about taking on the mob? Nigga, they got police on payroll. So we gotta take it to the mattresses and shit get thick. It's definitely gonna blow back on us, man. You're right. But I got a plan. We lure them all out, deal with them all at once. Cause let me worry about that. Hey, right, mama, I'm gone. Okay, you going out? Mm-hmm. 
Oh, look at the boy. He just looks so handsome oh, today. Good. Come on, Mama. Why do you have to make it such a big deal? I'm just going to work. Me just so proud of me, boy. And there's no harm in that. All right, I baked you some cookies. Mama, you have to stop with the cookies and the pies. You really do. You just don't understand. I'm just so thankful that I found my son a job. It's not, not every, every day, day that you bump into a complete stranger and he helps us find a home and he gives us both, both jobs. jobs. <laughs> Mama, do you know you say this every day? Listen, we can fuss over my boy if my one. Now you go. Aren't you forgetting something? talk to you. About what? Getting put on a trail. It's just that simple, Hitch. I mean, you've been wanting to get put on the hood since you moved in. What is your chance? But first, you got to show that you 12 block material you worthy of wearing these colors. I mean, you do want to wear these colors, don't you? All you gotta do is get your boss to the meet. Look, I know you're surprised that Mr. Galvetti is really a cop in the mob. But he's been so good to my family. Dog, that cock sucking crack been bleeding this neighborhood dry for years, man. You think you really matter to him? To him, you're just another nigga willing to work for damn near free. Look, Ish, all you gotta do is what I ask. Approach him with an opportunity to get in on the drug trade back in Haiti. Tell him me people got it locked up down there. They just need a steady connected movie. But he knows I'm not a dealer. Yeah, just like you knew he wasn't a gangster, right? Look, when you first approach him, he'll be caught off guard. But if you speak strong and direct, lock in on his eyes, speak confident, he'll go for it. So I just have to get him to the meeting? That's it, Ish. You get them to the meeting, and we'll convince them to do business with us. Nobody gets hurt. Everybody goes home happy. And most importantly, you get put on the 12. When? And you believe this, kid? I mean, what are you going to do? Kid comes up to me, says he's got a connection, wants to do some serious business. I gotta listen. Is this a street kid? Not at all. A cop? No way. He's a good kid. Matter of fact, I think he's trying to impress me. Or maybe he's trying to make a few extra dollars. But either way, I do think he has to connect. Okay. All right. Let's meet with these Haitians and see what they got. But you take Circus and his crew with you for protection. I don't want this shit going south. I'll take care of it. All right, Mama. So I'm just going to go out with some friends. I'll be back a little later. Son, who are these friends there of yours? And where did you meet them? Mama, what difference does that make? Yes, man. Mom, look, you, you have to stop treating me like a baby. Ishmael, listen to me. These boys are bad. You really don't, don't want to... Don't what? Don't want to have friends? Mama, do you know all I do is go to work? 
or I come here at home up under you all day. Now that's no way to live. I, I have to start hanging out with people my own age. Sign me just don't want you to go through exactly what we left behind in Haiti. What we left behind in Haiti, that is not my life. Look, Ma, I know you love me, okay? But I am old enough and strong enough to make my own decisions. Now look, I, I, I have to go, okay? I, I'll be back later. Yes, man. Mom, yes, I have man. to go. Just like we talked about, everything will be good. Dorothy, ain't you a long way from Kansas? So, uh, where's your posse at? Where's the mighty Haitian cartel? They'll be here in a minute. Where's your friends? They'll be here in a second. I'm a busy man, Ishmael. Now exactly, who are we meeting up with again? Some friends from back home. Well, it just turns out, I actually know some people from back home. Who knows? It might be one of them. <laughs> it's about time. Hello, Mr. Calvetti. You done fucked up now, Dorothy. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Put it down. My boys have put a slug right through your boss's pretty blue eyeball. What the fuck do you want? I came in for your life. Excuse me? I said I came in for your life. But I'll take another stand. All I want is the east side. Your family can keep the west side and anything downtown, plus the no man's land in the middle. I think that's fair. Do you think that's fair? Listen here, you little punk. I was pushing dope in these streets when you and your fairy ass crew were playing hopscotch in the projects. So don't you dare try telling me what's fair. Well, I really don't see you having a choice right now, do you? Huh. You got it all figured out. You know all the angles. Young man, it doesn't work out that way. You cut us out, you're cutting out the Donatos, the Merlinos, and a few other families back east who aren't particularly looking for a pay cut. You get it? Like I said, I think it's more than fair given the circumstances. Manager, fuck you. Everybody on standby. They're big enough to hold a fucking gun, put them on alert. The shit just got real. 
What the fuck? Is that Ishmael's mother? Oh no. No! Mama boy to America. To escape the violence of Haiti. For a better life. They wanted to start over. But you all left taking that away. And now there must be a payment. And you must be in trade. A life for a life. Femme la part. La toi ban toi. Repose en paix. Je vais prendre ta vie pour sa vie. Je vais prendre ta vie pour sa vie. Man, we have been here for two hours. Two hours. Now I'm starting to lose my fucking patience. And we're trying to find the man killed your son. Now come on. You want me to believe that you walked into an alley by accident right into a, 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 a triple homicide. You want me to believe that? I can't buy that. Now tell me what happened. Oh, I left home tonight with that rowdy bunch. And yes, I did. I followed him. I try to make sure there'd be no harm to me, boy. Cause he's a good boy. He's not at all like those men he was with tonight. Did you know any of the men he was with? No, I don't. Ma'am, I've got dead gangbangers. I got another man who's a high-ranking member of the biggest mob family in this city. Ma'am, they killed your son. Help us find these bastards, please. Come on! Help us out of here! Jesus Christ! Mrs. Babbitt, help us identify the men that were in that alley. Ma'am, can you give me and my partner a moment to speak in private? We got nothing to hold her on, really. We gotta cut her loose and hope that she has maybe a change of heart and gives us something. It's just one thing that bothers me. What's that? How does someone like Ishmael Babbitt connect to somebody like Charles Calvetti? We still gotta cut her loose. Anything that can help us with this investigation. We'd appreciate it. Miss Barrett, sorry I had to be so hard on you. Just trying to find a man who killed yourself. Listen up. One of my officers will escort you home, okay? Thank you. And again, Miss Babbitt, if you can think of anything, it'll be a great help in finding your son's killer. Sorry about your son. <sighs> May vengeance 
be taken by the blood of the first child. May the dead be risen to judge his oppressor. And to those who would harm me, may they be taken away. Bring him who punishes to the light. Shit! <laughs> Asshole. Hey! I'm Shingo. What about you? Just finished prepping your damn area so we could get out of here. Fine. I say we cut it short. This one's already tagged. It's the next shift deal with it. I agree. Besides, I have a date with Michelle. <sighs> you mean long hair, tight ass. I wanna fuck her so bad. Michelle? That'd be the one. Lucky you, man. No, lucky her. I have a fifth of vodka and a hundred milligram Viagra. Tonight is gonna be the night of her life. I can't believe you bagged Michelle. Well, you better believe it, my friend. And in a couple hours, <laughs> I'm gonna be knee deep in ass and titties while you're at home touching yourself, you frickin' perv. Let's just get out of here. Hey, does Michelle have any fat sisters? Nah, she got a brother. Fresh out of prison, you damn loser. Whatever works. <laughs> is he fat too? We all know there must be swift retribution for what happened. Anyone, and I repeat, anyone involved must be held accountable for his death. Mr. Leone, I promise you, I will personally cut out the heart of every member of that fucking 12 block gang, and I will hand deliver them to you on a plate. And so we're clear. The skulls were to be the protection of Mr. Calvetti, and as we know, that did not happen. But Mr. Leone- Bitch, shut the fuck up! We've always done good business, but we both know there's no room for mistakes, especially the kind that cost me my best earn. Listen, no, no, just give me a minute, let me just explain. No, 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 no. You may not take anything. The only thing I want you to take is a few seconds to fix this situation. I mean, come on. I always thought the Skulls were a formidable crew, not a bunch of Mama Luca idiots. Look, sir, those are my guys out in the street every fucking day keeping shit in line for you guys. Now look, I understand what kind of power you hold, but make no mistake. I've got killers on my payroll, too. But you knew that already, didn't you? I think you and your crew are forgetting a chain of command here. I'd watch that silver tongue of yours if I were you, before you find it missing. Consider my tongue watched. And like I said, we'll handle it. I'm sure you will. Now see yourselves out. Let's go.
Make plans to be here in the city within the next few hours. I'll send the information via our usual matter in the next 10. A driver will be at your door in 15 minutes. Be ready. So we go to war with the scores and the mob. Shit ain't no fear in me. Hell, Leonidas and the Spartans almost came out on top with just 300 soldiers. And they was up against millions. We gotta be smart about this. Look, I'm down for whatever gonna take the trail to the next level, man. If one with the mob gonna do it, then I'm all in. But we gotta have a plan, bro. We can't just go jumping off up into this shit half cop. Because if we do, we ain't gonna make it out, bro. Right. So what we do is, we get the soldiers together, arm them up, post them up throughout the hood, and it's kill on sight. Score show us head, shoot. Shit, if the mob wants something, they can get it too. Man, we can't afford to be out here looking weak, trying to talk it out. We gotta stand up right now and claim what's ours. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about, my nigga. But first things first, though. We gotta take care of that bitch. She can link us to the killers. You're right. Word. What you want to do? What you want to do? Come on, come on, come on, come on. What you want to do? What you want to do? What you want to do? Tell me what you want to do. What you want to do? What you want to do? What you want to do? No word from Rico? No, dog. I'm hitting him up, man. See if this shit done. Damn, I should've went with that nigga. Relax, y'all. We don't even know if it's a problem. Dog, Rico go in and do his business. Wouldn't take him more than a few minutes to do his job, man. He definitely would've texted me by now. Look, you went pretty roll past there and see what's going on. I bet. Come on, Hop. Send Greasy with me. Shit, send your little sister for that matter. Anybody but this fashion model motherfucker. What if he gotta run up out of there? We won't get 10 feet with this nigga down tap shoes. Hey, yo, man, fuck you, all right? Just make sure you keep up with your scrawny ass. Oh, I will. Just leave your makeup in the car when we get there. P. Diddy looking motherfucker. That's enough, both of y'all. Like, both of y'all niggas run past there and see what the fuck's going on. Greasy, you stay on this jack. Something right. This the house? Yup. Let's work. Circus, I just followed Freddy and Pretty over to this house on the west side. These motherfuckers think they want to cross us. I'll take them out. I'll call you when I'm done. Yo, go in there quiet. You can go in that shape if you want to. Got me a motherfucking gun. We just watch the fucking door.
If I didn't know any better, I'd swear you and Tommy was butt buddies. Shut the fuck up. You fucking skank. Tommy, talk to me. Is it done? Yeah, but... But what? Tommy. I got, I got Freddy G in the backyard. And then when I went inside, Pretty was already dead. Wait, 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 what do you mean he was already dead? I mean he took a knife to the fucking stomach. Well, well who did it? Did you see who did it? Tommy? Yeah. Who the fuck took him out? It was Ishmael. Uh, come again? Ishmael killed the guy. Bullshit. Tommy, that's fucking bullshit. Ishmael's fucking worm food. Look, I watched the guy take bullets through the chest. He's not going to live through that, let alone come back and kill somebody. I know, Circus, but I'm telling you, it was him. I looked him dead in the eyes. Now he's saying he saw fucking Ishmael. There's no way you've seen what I did to him. I'm telling you, Circus, it was him. All right, look, meet me at the bar first thing in the morning. What the fuck? Hey, Miles. What do you got? We got a triple. Vic number one is Edward Johnson. Street name, Pretty. Seems he took a big knife to the stomach. Is that Pretty from 12 block? Exactly. Where's the other two? Where are they at? The other one's in the back room. He was stuffed in a closet. When Rico came, and who do you think he runs with? I mean, yes, 12 block. Bingo. Number three is Frederick Gaines, a.k.a. Freddie G. He got it at the back door. All three were top brass for 12 block. And who found it? Get this. The homer comes home. She finds the bodies in the house. She calls 911. Guess what her name is? Hmm. Old friend of you two, Aida Babbitt. Well, that's all I've got for now. You two can take it from here. All right. Good job, Miles. Thanks. Yeah. So first her son gets found murdered with Mr. Mafia himself. And it's just a few days later, three bangers get off to her house. What's the connection? Revenge, maybe? Maybe. Doesn't make any sense, though. I mean, you got this made guy, three hardcore bangers, and then this Haitian immigrant kid. I'll tell you what, I'd be willing to bet the skulls are involved in this somehow, too. How so? Well, we know they do all the real dirty work for the mob, right? Yeah. And they've been at it with 12 Block for years. I'd be shocked if they're not involved. You know, and, and that could be it. 12 Block murders Calve, so now somebody's hunting them down, but where does this kid fit into all of it? That's a good question. Hey, do me a favor. Yeah. Give uh, Jonesy a call down at the county morgue. See if you can send me over a copy of the autopsy notes on the Babbitt kid. I want to take a look at those. All right. Thanks. getting crazy about a minute. What do you mean? I just got the file with Bill from County, and he says that our body took a walk a couple nights ago. What do you mean, took a walk? I mean Ishmael Babbitt's corpse is missing. Check this out. These symbols and these half-burned candles. You make anything out of that? I mean, I know that voodoo spells can protect people or harm them. What about bringing people back from the dead? People believe that kind of stuff too, don't they? You're kidding, right? I'm just saying. I wear the face of disbelief. I've been tempted to proceed. Been got away from my beliefs to succeed. So we keep things going, right? Drop that price and we keep things going. Otherwise, I might have to take my club's business somewhere else. Come on, DJ, don't be a fucking idiot. Who else is going to give you the quality that we do, huh? You can't trust the pirates. You can't trust those cowboys from the West End. We got a good thing going here, bro. Well, I'm not interested in a good thing, only a good price. And the ticket you're giving me right now is way too high. Too high? We're already $1,000 than anybody else. Let's not even mention the quality. Like I said, Drop that ticket, and we can keep doing business. 
Otherwise, the Hell Riders no longer work with the Skulls. Look, I know it sounds crazy, but I'm telling you, it was Ishmael. I looked him dead in the eyes. Tommy, it was dark. No, it was him. I'm sure of it. Or well, maybe it's from all the freaking pills you've been popping, Tommy. Fuck you. No, fuck you. You want us to believe that some dead kid is walking around? Bullshit. You need to leave the fucking dope alone. Look, I've been hearing things lately. Oh, now you're hearing shit too? Oh, I don't mean like that. Look, I've been hearing on the streets that this kid's mom is into some serious, wicked voodoo shit. Unfucking believable. Do you even hear yourself, Tommy? You need to get your shit together. You're starting to scare me over here. Right. That bitch can boil chickens and old bones all she wants. He ain't coming back. Look, dude, you need to relax. Everything's gonna be fine. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I think it's been an explanation for everything. I think maybe you're tired. I think these last few days have been rough on you. I think you need to get some rest. Well, maybe you need to lay off all the fucking oxy. Hey. I'm serious. Look, go home, get some rest. Cassie's right. Lay off the dope for a little while. Get your mind right. All right. I'll do it. Good. Mr. Mayor? Listen, the reason why I asked you two to meet me down here is because I think I got somebody in my office that is leaking information to the Leone family. Sir? I, I, I know, I mean, somebody is a leak in there. I mean, they're, they're giving them information. But I, I, I trust you two. I mean, you two are hardworking cops and are loyal to the badge. I just, I just wish I could say that about everybody. Thank you, sir. So, what do you got? Well, so far what we do know is that the Skulls and 12 Block are locked up in some kind of a turf war again. And as we know for quite some time, the mob is back in the Skulls and Carmen Leone's calling all the shots. You got anything at all that we can hold Leone on for, for murder? Not yet, sir. He's a slippery bastard. Uh, look, keep working the streets, all right? And you find out anything, you find out anything at all, you bring it right back to me, you understand? Yes, sir. Right back to me. All right. Okay. You keep me posted. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm not here to hurt you. You know better than this. We can't be seen together. Pull your skirt down, you freaking sissy. What do you got? And nothing. Except, of course, what's general knowledge. Look, man, you, you gotta stop with the bodies. Yeah, I'm cleaning all that up now. Once I get it all done, We'll proceed with the distribution setup. The, the, the feds, I think they're on to me. And things, things are getting complicated. Yeah, they are. But you just gotta uncomplicate them. Get your fucking people lined up. So what are we thinking? Maybe one of these guys swiped the body from county? Yeah. But why? I don't know. Maybe set some kind of example, or who knows? Maybe they're trying to hide evidence of some sort. Hey, hey Chief. Chief. So, we got two dead gangbangers, a mob hit, and now you're telling me we have a missing corpse. Somebody better tell me something good. 
chief is looking like some type of turf war between 12 Block, the Skulls, and Leone Mob. You mean somebody's trying to make a power play? Look like 12 Block is trying to make the move for the downtown section. But that's no man's land. It don't make sense. There's a lot of unclean money down there, though. The Mob and the Skulls are already connected. So that means 12 Block, they can shake things up. They can make a real play for the front. Exactly. Any ideas? Well, I figure Stag and I can put a tail on the leader for a few days, and then we'll uh, set up outside the gang's hangout to see who's coming and going. If you're lucky, you might catch Ishmael Crickwalk. <laughs> if you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> we just might. Listen, go get it. All right. Thank All right. You, thank you. You told Chief about your back from the day of voodoo theory? I'm telling you, Stag, some people really do believe that voodoo can bring back the dead. Then maybe they can bring back Tupac. Tupac? What about Biggie? So what you thinking, bro? I ain't thinking shit, dog. You say we ride, then we ride. But we got to do something fast, huh? Three of our top soldiers gone in just a couple of days, man. World spirit through the hood, we might lose grip. We ain't losing shit. But we earn these streets block by block. Hell, if anybody know that is you. I'm with you, Hop. I'm just saying, man, our strength was in our top tier, man. Three of them dead, chain broke. This shit might get ugly. Times like this to tell if a man even got the juice to be running the crew. Believe me, niggas gonna pay for this. I'm personally gonna put circuits in the ground. Tool up, nigga. Let's ride. Let's ride. So, um, I'm excited what I'm gonna do it this weekend, Stag. Do what? I'm gonna ask Linda to marry me. Wow, congratulations. That's awesome. And it's about time. What do you mean it's about time? It's only been, what, not even eight years? Eight years? That's six years too long. Mm, maybe. What happened last time around? I didn't want to go there yet with her. That's bullshit. That's yeah. not bullshit. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Yeah, it looks like the boss and his boy are on the move. Wait, hold on a second. You know, it looks like they locked the place up. What do you say we give it a few minutes? Go in and have a look around. The club? Yeah, we go in there, we get a lead inside of five minutes, right? It's gonna take at least a couple hours for us to get a search warrant. Besides, we don't have a probable cause. I'm talking more off the books here. You know what I mean? Just a quick sneak and a peek. You know it's to cost both of us our jobs. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, Stack. Come on, we go in, we're out of there in five minutes, all right? All right. Five minutes. Five minutes and we're out of there. I promise you. Let's right, go. Let's go. first one belongs to Ishmael and his mother, right? Mm-hmm. We won't bet the second one belongs to somebody who's in a shitload of trouble when these boys catch up to him. That's another hit. Yeah, exactly. Let's go.
Hey, yo, Circus. It's Tommy. I uh, just got back to your house, so I guess I'll just see you whenever you get back here. I can't believe the rap sheet on some of these guys. I thought we put half these people away already. Definitely ain't no Boy Scouts. What the hell? I swear I just saw you smell Babbitt walk up the driveway of that house. What? I, I just saw you smell Babbitt alive. Just I it was him. All right, clear as day it was him. If he did come back to exact some voodoo revenge, then why are they still alive? Yeah, since they are. Let's get up there. What do you two pigs want? Just relax. We just want to ask you a couple quick questions. Well, I, I'm pretty busy right now, so, you know. You mind if we come in? All right, look, you guys seen anything around here today? Anything strange at all? Strange like what? Like anything. Like maybe something has to do with this beef that's going on between 12 Black and the Skulls. What beef are you talking about? Look, unless you guys got a warrant, I'm done answering questions. Well, no. Look, slide around back and get a gauge you up in there. We finishing this shit once and for all. It's clear. We going in and killing everything in that bitch. Let's do it.
Yes. Mr. Leone? I've been awaiting your call. Good news, I hope. No, not quite, but I could really use your help. I'm listening. Look, I'm taking a real beating over here. My whole fucking crew is dead. Cassie is dead. Tommy is dead. And someone left a fucking dead banger from 12 block out front of my fucking house. Look, I'm gonna go dump the bodies. But we've gotta get this shit handled now. Otherwise, we both might end up working for some spook called Muhammad or some shit. You know? I promise you I will never be employed by anyone named Muhammad. Nor will you cave in to the pressure caused by some ragtag group of thugs. We hired you because we were assured you were good at what you do. And now you're cowering in the corner because a few of your soldiers have been killed? I'll handle it from here. Your contract is canceled. Good day. Hey, Chief. How you doing? Good. Take a look at that. What's this? That's a case file. I don't know what it is. What's in it? Uh, Mr. Rodney Hopper was bludgeoned to death in a social club owned by he and a few of his associates. Who is Rodney Hopper? That's hip-hop, Chief. No way. Yes way. Trust me, it gets better. You know the house that Stagnelli and I staked out yesterday? Circus's house? This morning, a neighbor goes knocking at the door. She's knocking, knocking, there's no answer. She goes marching on in. There's blood everywhere, all over the inside of this house. Like what, 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 circuits, you find circuits? Yeah, there's no sign of them, but there is one more thing. About an hour ago, a patrol cop spotted a car parked down by the dumps down there, goes in for a closer look. There's three bodies inside. Two of them are skulls, the other was this 12 block banger they called Greasy. What's your take? I'm not sure yet, Chief. I mean, it's definitely crew on crew, but, you know, I gotta think the mob's retaliating for the Calvetti hit, too. Yeah, I agree. I'll tell you what, you find Circus, he's either a suspect or your next pick. My thoughts are exactly, Chief. There you go. Let's go to work. All right, thanks, Chief. Cool. Keep me posted. I will. Keep your eyes open, Stag. We gotta find this guy now. 
Well, at least we know he's behind all this. Yeah, he is. Not by himself, though. The other guys in his crew or the mob. There's something else going on here, too. I don't know what the hell it is. Corbin. Yeah. The fuck? When? Jesus. All right. Yeah, we'll get over there. What's going on? They found Costanzo dead. What? Mayor Costanzo was dead. They found him in his car. Somebody shot him in the fucking head. We gotta go. But if we leave now, we won't get another chance to get circus. Shit. That's our boy right there. Shit. What you wanna do? We gotta take him, Stag. You know what? It's almost dark. Let's wait till then, then we'll go inside, alright? The city of Cleveland is still recovering after two of its own were buried today after being found murdered only hours apart. Mayor Peter Costanzo and Detective Lance Corbin were both found murdered in separate incidents, each believed to be linked to the city's ongoing gang war. Police are saying they will use the full weight of the law to find those responsible and bring them to justice. Why did you have to go? Go away from me. And it feels like a nightmare, not reality, yeah. And you told me you would never leave me, never leave my side. And now you're gone, yeah. Can you tell me why you're gone? He 
face tag. How you doing? I'm okay. What you got for me? Us just down to forensics. The sample we took from the door of the crime scene came back inconclusive. But they did get a hit on a late and we pulled from the doorknob. Came back to a Tamar Abbott. They had him for a mob murder a few years ago, but couldn't stick it. He fled back to his native country. And let me guess, Haiti. Yeah. How'd you know? Detective Signelli, how can I help you? When is the last time you seen Tamar? You don't know what you're saying. Bullshit. Is he here now? No. I know all about Tamar and the mafia here in this city. I know your son's a contract killer. Man, don't know what you're talking about. You don't care that your son is responsible for over a dozen murders? I haven't seen Tamar since me and Ishmael left daddy. I have no knowledge of what he does here or over there. I ran his name against airport customs, and they have no record of him entering this country. I entered Ishmael's, and I got a hit. Looks like he entered several days ago, but Ishmael's dead. What do you want from me? I'll ask you again. When is the last time you've seen your son? Get down. Get on the ground now! I know this has been difficult considering your recent family matters, but as usual, you've delivered. The family won't forget this. As agreed, 15K per head. All you need to do now is handle circus, and we're finished here. Tomorrow, after you're finished with circus, my driver can have you on a plane and back in Haiti in less than four hours. I'll take care of circus. Then I have to go see my mother. You have been a loyal business partner to this family. I'll take care of your own, but be careful. Everything is hot right now. The bodies have piled up and the police need an arrest. I'll take care of Circus. Don't worry, he's on our side. You're a hell of a mess in my town, kid. It'll take me years to clean this up. I think you, uh, you ought to get out of town until things cool off. Yeah, tomorrow go home and lay low for a while. I, uh, I'm gonna call the uh, airport. Once you get out there, get on a plane and get on the town. Uh, yeah, this is the mayor. Look, I just had a credible threat on my life. I want you to draw all the police from the airport and get into my office immediately to protect me, my staff, and my family. Now! Psycho. That kid is as loyal to me as any Italian in Little Italy. I trust him with my life. That kid is a fucking animal. And I don't trust him at all. And you know what? I don't trust you much either. I mean, can't you do business at all without killing everybody? I'll call you when everything's done. Yeah, this is the mayor. Listen, I want a SWAT team sent to the airport immediately. I want you to pick up a suspect by the name of Tamar Babbitt. Now, he is armed and he is dangerous. He's black male, he's about 6'2", wearing all black clothing. Mr. Leone, your friend is dead. I fear that he would betray us and my instincts were right. It, there's, there's nothing I can do. It had to be done. Now look, I'm going to go take care of Circus, and then I have to go see my mother. Once I am done, I need to disappear.
I can't go back to prison. I don't want to have to shoot you. Always never follow up here. Hey. You take care of yourself over there. Don't sleep. Alright, I've been over there. You're real cutthroat. It can't be any worse than what it is over here. <laughs> Go into the car. Let me talk to Mama. Hey. I love you. Mama. Mama. No need, Tamar. No need. That boy there, he deserves a chance. A chance I tried to give you both. But the right ways was never your ways. You don't think I heard the rumors of you killing people for monies? I this this mafia business in the U.S. The police here every other day. I have to give him a chance. A chance you never wanted. I am so sorry for the pain and destruction he has caused. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Mama, I have come home. They call me hip hop. I and I alone. Say what's shake. Fucking banger. Hey, Lucy, Polo, it's Taylor, it's Taylor, it's Taylor. I got a team and we just do it major, we major. I keep the peace with a banger, a banger, a banger. I'm with my niggas, that mean it's danger, it's danger I got the world at the tip of my finger, my finger I like the L with a side of tequila, tequila That yellow bone trying to kick it like FIFA, like FIFA I keep my gold in my room and my ice in my freezer I get this money so I'm committed to this paper You act like you know me, homie, but see me as a stranger Never leave home alone and you know I got a banger You run up on me and it's gonna be danger, danger, danger Shorty, you show me that back and I clap it applause You niggas snitching, I come for whoever involved You try to play me, I murk him as soon as it pours Man, my niggas don't care what it's about, they down for the cause My niggas equal, we need you, we see you, we eat you I'm dressed to impress like I'm about to come through and just meet you I don't cop the whip if I see the windows or see through you Bring it, beat, we come through and I get you scooped like I need you Soon as they pay me, I bounce and go hit the casino Man, it's life for the taking, I take it I'm Debo, I'm Debo, used to sing like a diva Got a singer and he scream on Remember selling my singles just so I could cop that evil You see the polo, it's Taylor, it's Taylor, it's Taylor I got a team and we just do it major, we I keep the peace with a banger, a banger, a banger. I'm with my niggas, that means.